Okay, next question, Brenda. Hey Jesse, I have calculated my TDEE based on the 1.5 exercise multiplier number per the formula you provide in your book. Should I subtract a calorie deficit from that TDEE? Example, 250 or 500 calories. If not, will I gain weight? Based on my TDEE, I have been under eating, which may explain why I am shedding pounds. So, based on your TDEE, you have been under eating. So, is the scale gonna go, going to go up when you start the program based on the TDEE that you calculate in the book with me? Probably. If you were severely under eating and then I show you the way to live a happy life as a Jessie's girl and it's a whole bunch of more food than you were giving your body before you started, then yeah. If you started a thousand calories and then I show you that you're supposed to be eating 1800, 1900, 2000, yeah. If you need to bump it up by a thousand calories, yeah. You're gonna gain weight. If I'm at 2,000 calories and I start eating 3,000 calories, am I gonna gain weight? Yes. Okay, so yeah, if you're under eating you're, and you're adding in a bunch of calories all, all of a sudden, you are going <coughs> to put weight on the scale. It's gonna be muscle, it's gonna be fat, it's gonna be both. Okay, you can't pick one or the other. Other thoughts around this. You're about to start a 14 week figure prep. Okay, you just calculated your macros based on my formula in the books. And based on that, you have been severely under eating before you found me, before you found the Justice Girls programs. But you're worried because you're about to start a prep and the food, the amount of food that I need you to eat is a lot more. And so you're gonna be starting this figure prep eating way more, so you're gonna gain weight. So that doesn't really like mesh well together with about to start a figure program where you, a figure prep where you need to be lean and mean in 14 weeks. So it's not all really matching up. And if I want, if I don't care if you're mad at me or not, uh, the answer I want to tell you is forget about the figure contest and reverse diet up to the amount that you calculated in the Justice Girls ebook and do the program and be happy and fix your body and fix your metabolism and fix all these numbers and get really, really healthy. And when you are fed and fueled and happy and badass, Jessie's girl, then you can start a figure prep. But for you to start a figure prep when you're already severely under eating is what is wrong with the whole entire fitness competition industry. Women, men too, right now. So that's my true thoughts. You are probably mad at me, but I know you know I'm right. <laughs> what you're gonna do anyway, I don't know. But if you're gonna do it anyway, and I'm gonna give you some not advised advice, I don't know, like this is so tough for me because if you are under eating and I cal you calculate your macros and they're, it's a lot higher than what you're eating, even if you take away 200 calories from that, is it, I don't know enough about the numbers that you were at before, is it still a surplus? after you've even minused out some calories out of what you calculate with me, how far away were you from where I want you to be? If they're a little bit closer together, you were eating 1,500 calories and I want you eating uh, 1,900 calories, for example, you're not too far away, so I can see you uh, maybe just being at that 1,500 calories for your figure prep and maybe come back to my brain after work and try to get back on track and be healthy. But if you're really far away, any calories you add from your severe deficit are gonna put you in a surplus from what your body's used to. So you're just stuck. And this is what's wrong with everybody is that they're so lean and they're so ready to compete, but they're severely under eating. And they are saying that a figure competition, a fitness competition is more important than your health. And I just, I don't, I do not agree. So I don't know, like I just, I don't know where, you didn't give me any details about the difference between what you were eating and what I want you to be eating now. So maybe a little bit more details on that and I can kind of help you bridge that gap a little bit more. But I think you're picking up what I'm putting down and it's, I think you should probably try to get healthy before you start a figure prep. And if you try to jump anywhere closer to what I want you eating, it's gonna be a surplus because you're under eating.